What the hell am I pulling? It's even 9,000 pounds. Uh, Kurt's truck. Oh, that thing ain't 9,000 pounds. It is like 12,000 pounds. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> thing is huge. Oh, now I gotta get both of them other ones to go. Luckily, Doug had an extra one, so I can keep it in. Yeah. Do a good job there, feller. <laughs> All that Zaxby's experience has prepared you for this. Good, John. He's putting on his winch piece. I thought that was a seat. He's putting on his seat for people to ride the front of his Jeep. <laughs> Just doing it. the barge you can hang on to. Oh, that's the portable commode. <laughs> you got to put the lid on it. Then it's got the hang on bars. It's my death fighter. It's your death fighter. <laughs> yeah, Somebody straps on right here and then they dangle their feet. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> we got the Subaru. We're gonna try and get it fixed. There's a night ride tomorrow, so we're gonna try and take this to the night ride, and ride with him and a bunch of other people. Hopefully we can. But yeah, I forgot to put a filter in it, fix the duct work, put the snorkel back on, uh, fix the tire, which should be pretty easy. Change the oil. Should be good to go after that. So we have everything here to do it. We just, yeah. Get my bike. Covered in mud still. Yes. Mate, the limit of this plate, uh, what would that be? 3,000. 3,000 pounds? Oh, this is only for nine? Yeah. Just don't pull nothing heavy. What the hell am I pulling? It's even 9,000 pounds. Uh, Kurt's truck. Oh, that thing ain't 9,000 pounds. <laughs> it is like 12,000 pounds. It probably is. <laughs> <laughs> thing is huge. Oh, heavy? Yeah. yeah. So what? I don't have no extra battery. I used to have some extra battery in this kit. What do you mean? So we got the snorkel on on John's Jeep. It's hooked up. It's functional. It works totally on the right way. Definitely did not sawzall anything. <laughs> Why well, you got a sawzall right there? <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's no teeth on that blade, so we clearly didn't use it. <laughs> so we got this on. Too stupid to put light. <laughs> After some minor comp complications, we got the winch to work. So it's on. And uh, Subaru is going to be out of commission. Uh, we started getting into it. And this is going to be a lot to do. And we're not going to be able to make it to the night ride with the Subaru. Because the, it's going to need like some modifications. We need rubber hose instead of this duck work. The spark. <laughs> what? It won't let me have my bolt back. <laughs> Look at Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, this has got some holes through it. And uh, so we're going to take this off, replace it with some rubber hosing to go. We're going to put the air box back on, get a new filter, and fix all the leaks. There's no leaks here, but there's going to be leaks here. So we've got to look on this as we f put it back on and secure it up here. And John put his sweet filter on it. <laughs> uh, it's up there. Yeah. But we're tidying up his Jeep. Like I said, this is going to be out of commission. We got to change the oil. We really need to put a clutch in it. So it's going to be out of commission for a minute. Plus, we don't know why the tire's looking down. But yeah. The Ford. Focus will be here tomorrow. It's going to be either the new go-kart or a gambler. We're not totally sure because the thing is a piece of junk. So, <laughs> yeah. You got like a whole piece down. <laughs> so. Oh, <that> <laughs> <laughs> um, the Ford Focus, like I said, it's a piece of junk. Or from what we see, it's a piece of junk. We're going to get out here and look at it. and we're We are going to do a video on it and see what is going on so we'll do that tomorrow we bought a go-kart it was like a 500 hundred dollar go-kart uh coolman auto rebuilders bought it and we got to it to pick it up to bring it here and that thing is immaculate only thing it needs is a, a bumper and a hatch and the hatch, it's got a dent in the hatch it's no big deal we could leave it there it's not really that noticeable but needs a rear bumper and a rear bumper uh crash bar and but it, the, the inside's like immaculate. It's got like a drop down DVD player and Bluetooth headphones, rear air controls, third row seating. We was gonna turn that into a go-kart. We was gonna like crash it, jump it, do whatever we wanted to it. And it's just too nice, so we couldn't. So we're gonna fix it and turn it over, turn around, sell it for profit or something. But we're gonna try and get that focus in here and check it out. If it's a potential gambler, we're gonna use it for a gambler. If not, then we'll probably just toast it. and jump it like John and Josh did to the now broken ass um, AVO go-kart <laughs> so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video on the the Ford Focus maybe maybe a day late, day late so like this video will post tomorrow, and then the next video will be the new go-kart. Maybe. Potential gambler. Maybe. I don't know. Peace. See you tomorrow. If you're wanting to know how we do this, or how we did this, you should probably not ask. But we worked with what we had, and... All we had was a sawzall. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I could kind of... Do you Just care to show it? I don't care. Just right. go here, I guess. Yeah, mean? there's like a hole down there in the bottom. Make sure. Oh, well, yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're good, dude. <laughs> I took out eight and put back three. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what we did is we didn't have a hole saw to put this through, and just drill a circle and go through it and. It was a tie. Yeah, yeah like, that's not killing that. Uh, it's right. I think they need to cut that. They're right here. There you go. So you ever do this, you should probably do it the right way. Use a hole saw. If you can't get your hands on a hole saw, you do have a sawzall. Basically, what we had done is cut... A sort of rectangle up here and see this covers the bottom so it doesn't really matter because this is help the way this is held on and then right this comes forward and then it hooks like this hose will go in and hook right here and you tighten it up and you run it through here is what we use also that's not that 
We are gonna mount this. This is the computer, but you have to move the computer over in order to do this. You gotta cut a hole in here. We just use the sawzall, like I said, and then it just ran. <laughs> <laughs> and uh you just run it through and then you put it there there's supposed to be a filter up there but it didn't come with one so <laughs> so you may just have to turn it sideways or backwards when you mud it gets in the mud or something i'm gonna hammer this for sure there's also a lot of hammering and a lot of cutting and a lot this more cutting and a lot more hammering. Oh god, my fender! <laughs> So yeah, and you also have to remove the windshield washer box, which his didn't work, so. Yeah, nobody's ever done it. <laughs> so we just, we removed it pretty properly, how you're supposed to do the proper procedure. This is about the size of the rectangle we cut out of the Jeep. It went right there. <laughs> See, it's not noticeable, you can't even, you can't tell. Unless you like, kind of look under it, I guess. But yeah, it looks good. Yeet. Oh yeah, that's from the inside. That's what John was saying. But yeah, I'm not going to do a tutorial on this because it's really not the way to do it. So. I lost every single nut that goes on that. Are you serious? They They're probably in the engine bay. Is there... Here. There's one. I don't think these will fit it. As long as we got the ones on the end, I guess it's probably... Oh yeah. Should be fine. So I just need one more. Uh, this? Uh, that went to the computer. It's unusable. It's trash. <laughs> Nope, too big. Uh, I mean, there was like eight of them. So, probably. There's gotta be some around here. 